Most Elantras will have a new 2.0-liter, 147-horsepower, estimated, 4-cylinder. Hyundai is choose using a continuously variable transmission, CVT, increasingly popular among Japanese competitors such as the classes heavyweight Civic and Corolla, among others. Instead, Hyundai prefers to stick with a 6-speed automatic as the Elantra's core transmission. While conventional automatics typically feel more natural when accelerating than CVTs, we'll see if this choice forces a trade-off with fuel economy. Efficiency-minded buyers can opt for the Eco model, which comes with a small displacement 1.4-liter, 128-horsepower turbocharged 4-cylinder with a 7-speed, dual-clutch automated manual transmission, but that version will account for a small percentage of sales. The 2017 Elantra seats 5 and comes standard with cloth upholstery. Leather upholstery is available. Heated and ventilated front seats are also available, as are heated rear seats. The Elantra's front seats offer good support and plenty of room for passengers of all sizes. Although some class rivals offer more headroom and legroom in the rear seats, the Corolla offers an extra 5.7 inches of legroom, the Elantra still has plenty of space for a couple of adults to fit comfortably. The 2017 Elantra's cabin is quiet and well insulated, and it exudes an upscale feel even in lower trim levels. Many of the hard plastic surfaces from past Elantras have been banished, replaced with soft touch, matte, and brushed finishes. That said, the interior of the top limited trim level feels a bit uninspired, lacking the richness expected for the price. The 2017 Elantra sedan features 14.4 cubic feet of trunk space, which is fairly generous for the class. This cargo area can expand by flipping down the 60-40 split rear seat, 